What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of My Shitty Kitchen. My name is Mackle, my name is Tyler, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a bacon wrapped egg. This is one of my favorite things to do for breakfast and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. There's a lot of different ways we can set it up, a lot of different ingredients we can use. Let me show you some of my favorites. Let's jump over to the prep. To start, you'll need a few tools. Grab a sharp knife, a cutting board, and a muffin tin. Then you're ready to go. The ingredients can be just about anything you want. Bacon and eggs are really the only two necessary items, so don't be afraid to get creative with this. Also, don't forget the salt and pepper. Additionally, I'll be using parsley for garnish, scallions and or green onions as they're sometimes called, and feta cheese. You can also use any other herbs or spices that you like. For the prep, take your bacon. I, I don't really need to tell you to remove it from the package, do I? <sighs> remove your bacon from the package and lay it out side by side. Next, crack a healthy amount of pepper over the strips. Once you've got your bacon nice and seasoned, take the strips and fit them around the sides of the muffin tin. I usually don't worry about oiling them because the bacon produces enough grease so that the finished product slides out of the pan easily enough. When you're done, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and chuck your bacon in the oven. We want to give our bacon a bit of a head start so that it sets up and we can drop an egg into it without it falling over. While our bacon is cooking, I'm going to prep my scallions. Because I like cool presentation, I'm going to cut these on the bias just like the bread in the bruschetta episode. To do this, simply cut the ends off your scallions so they're even, then angle your knife and cut along them like you normally would. Your finished product should look a little something like this. Also, put these little guys in water to grow new ones. By the time you finish the scallions, your bacon should have enough of a head start. Remove it from the oven and crack an egg directly into the center of it. Season your eggs with salt and pepper, and add any cheese if you're using any. If you're using oil-based herbs like thyme or sage, you can add those now as well. Don't add water-based herbs like parsley or cilantro because they'll dry out and they'll burn. After putting all of your toppings on, it's time for these guys to take a trip back to the oven. Cooking time can vary with this dish because it depends on how done you like your bacon and eggs. Generally though, count on this taking about 15 to 20 minutes. During that time, I recommend finding your favorite cat and giving it some pettins. Once they're done, your finished product should look a little bit like this. Take a spatula, preferably a rubber one, and struggle to remove these without tearing them to pieces. If you can do this, you'll be a master chef. Take any of your water-based herbs and give them a good chopping. Next, grab your favorite plate and put it all together. To finish this, you can add any extra stuff you want. Hot sauce goes fantastically with this. I'm using Purple Pam's Kiss of Death. And lastly, here's the finished product, guys. Enjoy! All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this episode of My Shitty Kitchen, don't forget to like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I put out new cooking videos as often as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you at the next episode. Peace out.